So in the last class we discussed some engineering application of steady flow processes. So first let's recap those processes. What were those processes? Can anybody tell? Mm -hmm. I mean um, process means application where the flow process is applied in some thermodynamic um, equipment or engineering application. Yes, like over and over and over. So, gas turbine, boiler. Ah, good, very good, excellent. Boiler, gas or you can say also gas as well as steam turbine. Aru? Nozzle. Nozzle. Good. Very good. Aru? Compressor. Compressor. A compressor. Aru ki bako bane? Condenser. Boiler opposite. Condenser. Condenser. And uh, compressor. Almost ekini hole hoi jai. It may also include evaporator. So these are some important applications of engineering. Uh, sorry, some important engineering applications where steady flow processes are applicable. Because boiler, in case of a boiler also, or water sure. and uh, so it's a boiler. What enters into the boiler? Water. And what goes out of the boiler? That is the steam. So it's a flow, something entering and some that thing is going out of the system. Similarly, gas or steam turbine. In gas turbine, what enters into the turbine? Gas, hot gases. And in case of a steam turbine, what enters into the turbine? That is the steam. And uh, we'll discuss after this topic, maybe if, uh, from next class we'll uh, study the steam, properties of steam. Next is nozzle. In a nozzle, a fluid enters and goes out of this nozzle. Similarly, compressor. Generally, if it is an air compressor, air enters, it is compressed and the compressed air goes out of the compressor. Similarly, condenser. Steam enters into the condenser and condensed steam, that means water goes out of the condenser. And so as uh, is the case for the evaporator, like boiler. Okay. So today, oh, under this flow processes, we will discuss one another important and very interesting process, which is called throttling process. T H R O T T L I N G throttling. So let's see what is throttling process. So what is a throttling? It's a process, thermodynamic process, definitely in which enthalpy of the gas enthalpy or medium gas or whatever it may be remains constant so what is the throttling process basically h is equal to c or we can say h1 equal to h2 if it is a process 1 2 then h1 equal to h2 or you can say delta h equal to 0 there is no change in enthalpy that type of process is throttling process but other than this there are some other characteristics say during throttling process what happens there is no work done or there is no work transferred so de delta w equal to zero and generally there is no heat transfer so it is insulated system if it is an insulated system then delta q is equal to zero and on the other hand throttling process cannot be isentropic so what is isentropic we discussed it reversible adiabatic in the previous point we have said that it is adiabatic but in the next point we, have, we are telling that this is not isentropic because what is isentropic isentropic is reversible adiabatic but throttling process is irreversible process adiabatic but not reversible so that we have discussed earlier that what are the reversible processes in reversible processes are frictionless processes but this is this throttling process although it is a it is an adiabatic process there is uh, friction that means friction is involved during the process 
So that is why it is although a diabetic, it is not isentropic, and that is also called the irreversible adiabatic process. Now, what is the function of a throttling process? It is basically the pressure is reduced from high to low, not very high, slightly high pressure to low pressure. That means difference in pressure will be there during throttling process. So, throttling process is an expansion process. If pressure decreases, that means that is called expansion. So, till now we get throttling process is an expansion process in which the enthalpy remain constant and there is no heat transfer, there is no work transfer and it is not frictionless but it has some friction and that is why it is irreversible throttling process. Okay? Again we can say the application now come to an actual example where it can happen where the throttling process can happen, a process that takes place in such a way that fluid expands through a minute, very small aperture, that means hole you can say, small hole such as narrow throat, the throat you know in the uh, nozzle sector under fluid mechanics you know this part, the narrowest part is called the throat. So that type of narrow throat, not only throat, it should be a narrow throat, then throttling process may happen. Or you can say slightly open valve. A valve is intended for opening the passes, but full opening is not intended for throttling. But when the valve is just open, slightly open, then throttling may happen because that will give you a minute pressure. A small narrow throat will be produced when the valve is slightly open. So it is known as throttling process. So definitely it is a flow process and, and during this when it goes through a narrow throat or narrow minute aperture or slightly open valve then there will be slight expansion. So that is why throttling is an expansion process. So throttling process application can go over flow through partially open valve. Just repetition of the previous slide. It is a partially open valve. Not the suppose this is the valve and this is the completely open position. This valve is completely open. Now if this valve is open like this, say I am erasing this one. That the valve is open like this only, just open, then that something may go through this, then that in that case throttling may happen. And also if the flow is through a small opening like orifice, in the fluid mechanics if you got this just through an orifice and this orifice may be, have to be very small orifice, small pressure. Flow through porous plug, porous you know what is porous plug? Porous plug was to porosity, you know, it comes from the porosity. If uh, something can pass through slightly, slowly, that, for example, our filter, our normal filter, drinking water, then what is that uh, filter? Filter is not uh, impermeable, something can pass through the filter, but not at that very high velocity, slowly, something water can pass. Similarly, if air can pass through a porous plug or any fluid can pass through a porous medium, then that will uh, be a throttling process. Also, valve is a throttling process, but conditional, huh? not under all condition, valve is a throttling process. Valve I use for that may not be throttling process, but it may be throttling process if the valve is open, partially, slightly open valve. Okay, good. Now, throttling process, for example, we have just mentioned the minute aperture, that means opening, slight hole type thing, 
during the flow phase, flow line, flow line or the whole weight of the dithymer hold again, then what will happen? Suppose some fluid is flowing through a pipe like this, okay? So this is going narrowing down and this is a very small opening, minute a pressure. Then through this it will go. So definitely there will be expansion because it is getting the spaces, volume is increasing. So the pressure will click this. So there may be pro, um, a, a process involved, which is we call the throttling process. Okay. So this is one example: minute pressure throttling process. Next, partially open valve. Let me give you one example. Say this is an arrangement, and this is the valve. That means if this valve goes down, then it will it will be totally closed, completely closed. If it goes up, it will be completely open. Now at this position, suppose this is a partially open position for the valve, and the fluid is passing through this in this line, and it will definitely there is no other way to go. It will go this way. So the fluid will try. Flu sorry, the fluid will try to pass like this so in this case this opening is partial open valve like a minute aperture so in this case also some throttling may happen and okay. we can say it a float valve because it will be floating in this position it fluid as a floating with a give up how is the deeper pressure come on you like a total in a me a hero over taller pressure basically a lot of cool guys about this way it will sometimes it will open sometimes it will close and sometimes it will be open slightly because the uh, pressure below may not be so high so in this passage you can say this is section one uh, so this is section one one in fluid mechanics you used to use this type of sections two two that means section one and two so at this section this pressure p1 v1 row one uh, vs1 every anything internal energy enthalpy so these are the properties of the system so these are the values at section one then at uh, similarly at section two it will be pressure p2 velocity v2 specific volume vs1 uh, vs2 uh, temperature t2 internal energy u2 enthalpy u2 like this so that way we can analyze it now porous plug i will give you one example uh, where it can be used okay suppose a fluid is passing in this direction in a tube or in a pipeline and in between we are pressing some porous material porous plug so we will call it a plug so this this is a plug the intention of a plug is to close the flow stop the flow but since it is, this is a porous plug that means there are some porosity something can pass through slide slowly not a fast rate but it will pass through the pores a pores below or majority it will go and it will go to the tubes like this okay so during this also there will be there may be some shortening and that it does not say uh, does not change the pressure will decrease and this is a pressure p1 this is pressure p2 that means pressure p1 is greater than p2 that is why it is it is flowing but other properties we will discuss what happened in a uh, throttling process so in this case also throttling may take place so in short we can say throttling is a process in which a fluid passing through a restriction passes through a restriction and due to this it lose the pressure pressure ki hobo komi jay so here alog agote moi dekhaisu je porous medium at ke hoisile it is flowing 
and due to this flow it will lose the pressure also so basically the throttling is a process in which a fluid is passing through a restricted area it is no not free flow free flow is not there there are some restrictions and because of that restriction the process what will take place will be called throttling process so what is a throttling process constant enthalpy process okay so what is the uh, condition the friction makes a process irreversible you see during a porous plug when the fluid tries to escape or passes through the porous plug so it will there will be so much of friction it has to overcome this friction so there is uh, not slight friction many frictions it has to overcome so if there is a friction it cannot be a reversible process so what is this this is irreversible process so i r r irreversible process so we can say this is very important thing you have to say throttling is irreversible throttling process is a is an irreversible process because there are frictions uh, when you think of a throttling process you think of the porous plug so that from that you will get the idea or oh, the fluid one tries to pass through this porous media medium and there will be friction so if there is friction the process cannot be reversible and therefore throttling is an irreversible process just to remember how we can remember the things by relating something uh, relating to one uh, picture like porous plug or float valve or slightly open valve so suppose you are in the class physical classroom and the teacher declare the end of the class teacher goes out of the classroom then what happen what may happen you everybody will try to go out of the classroom suppose the door of the classroom is not open fully half open slightly just one person can pass through that opening then if all the students tries to go out of the door from the classroom then what will happen so jati student kini ekelage jodi ulai jabo koje moi situation disu all the students one tries to escape the class at a time but the door is not fully open okay jati ki hobo tomar logor theka khonda lagibo itu hitu hesibo thelibo so ultimately kintu ejon ejon he jabo boy je mane hese thala no kora ulaute ejon he ulabo pare je itu ejon ejon pa jabo that means suppose you each individual individual students are one molecules of a fluid so if this fluid tries to escape through a small opening like this so this molecule will uh, there will be so many frictions jane ke theka kunda khaisela tomaloke thela hesa hoyse that means there will be so many frictions so that is why it it will ultimately one by one it Can, one can escape at a time so there will be no uh, this process this type of process is called throttling process in which frictions makes the system irreversible already we have called that in throttling process there will be no heat transfer there will be no work done there will be no change in enthalpy but at the same time there will be so many frictions and that makes the process irreversible okay so till now we have studied and from that we can say what are the characteristics of throttling throttling or characteristic key there will be no heat transfer protomer prime equation just recap delta q equal to 0 there will be no work transfer delta w equal to 0 and the process is irreversible because there are friction friction makes the process irreversible and what is delta q equal to 0 means what adiabatic 
That is why we say whenever we say isentropy, then we directly cannot use the substitute adiabatic. We should say reversible adiabatic is isentropic process. And at the end, we can we must say that it is isenthalpic. Okay, we got many other type of process say isochoric, isobaric, isothermal, then what? Isentropic. Now Today we get a one more process which is isentropic is what? Reversible adiabatic. One more process we get that is isenthalpic. So what is this isenthalpic? Iso, so uh, isen, huh? isenthalpic. Iso means what? Enthalpy remain constant. So that is main characteristic of a throttling process, isoenthalpy, it is irreversible, no work transfer, no heat transfer. In throttling process, what happened? The pressure difference is very low. Jodhi wa mikosu P1 to become P2, this difference in pressure P1 minus P2 is very low, like zero, not zero, very low. Uh, so, when there is a if there is difference, there will be flow and there will be some work done, huh? work will be done. So, but the, because of the very low difference in pressure, the work done or work we get from the expansion is very low. All of work I mean, DW we get, but that is negligible. Whatever work is received or got from this expansion, that Work means that is an energy that is overcome, that is used in overcoming the friction. Friction is also a force. So this is also a force and this friction is overcoming the resistance. That means the work, whatever work is received during this expansion is used up during the flow overcoming the friction. So that way we can assume that delta Q equal, delta W equal to 0 and the system is kept in a uh, insulated form and that is why delta W equal to 0, no heat transfer. Now flow equation ami pai silo, general flow equation ami ki pai silo, first law thermal dynamics, uh, Ranjit, kwa? Sir, heat transfer no, no, no. Uh, sir, heat but that is definitely where there is a friction there will be heat generated. But first thing the pressure difference is very low. So flow will be very slow. So expansion is very little. And so the work done will be very little and that flow will produce very little amount of heat huh? and adiabatic means what heat tarpura transform hoise what is adiabatic process uh, ranjit there question to me sir no heat exchange sir exchange ah kar logot exchange na hoy with the surrounding surrounding logot exchange ho nai na hoy it to hoise janu so that is a diabetic. So within the system is heat is generated. That is not but heat is generated, but that is not going going out of the boundary. Boundary So that is still remain a diabetic process. So that in a throttling process, uh, this is our general steady flow equation general steady flow equation and we have discussed about throttling process which is there is no heat exchange so this is equal to zero there is no work done or very negligible amount of work done so this is equal to zero 
Bogdan is zero. And change in velocity that is also negligible. That is also zero. So actually nothing is zero, but we are considering it to be zero. And definitely if it is a horizontal position, there will be no change in potential energy. So from this analysis we got this is zero is equal to h2 minus h1. That means h2 minus h1, what is this? During a process 1, 2, h2 is final enthalpy, h1 is initial enthalpy and that change is equal to 0 or we can say h1 is equal to h2. So that is isenthalpy process. So throttle valve, there, this is a throttle valve, huh? this is practical application where throttling process can think. So, you have a pipeline or valve piece of money, then it was to the good idea. Good idea is a valve to open. But a valve to open, close code, the car piece of the first time opening, there will be slight opening. Minor pressure type. So, during that time, the process may be considered as throttle valve. My example is a very so this is actually a throttle valve. but in case of a water valve also, during the pipe, water supply system, I will have pipe, take a decay bottom on a problem, make a gurai gurai coolie de screw type hoy. So, it will complete opening now, you pull a gullet complete open hobo, out all the hillet close of all of this. So, in this case, the throttling may take place. So, accordingly, you can consider this is section one, this is section two. So, one to become a process. So, one two is what? H1 equal to H2. Okay, and then another example you know nowadays this is not used so much in uh, motorcycles there is a thing called carburetor for the process called carburation and there is one valve called float valve. Yet my to me the governor of float valve to a vitro of my so it my uh, agotic so this float valve principle is same like tomorrow called toka flash basin or flash or zero basin that to a principle to us you can open the basin is it repairing to get a bandha hoy beya hoy you yourself can open that see the principle how it works pani humai thake eta hamot pani humo humo bandha hoy basin to kya hoy because the float valve closes the opening so carburetor to it to take it, that is called float valve and there, there the carburetor takes place. So carburetor principle to it, just to make a So this is the fuel from the tank, fuel or for a pipeline, the fuel I have. So here the valve is a float valve, so it will float, this is needle, but the float is this, this is the float. So needle valve to curl got connected as a so yeah, this is called float. So like fluid mechanics of policy, the Archimedes principle policy, the condition of floating, get a float of get a submerge of So since this is designed to float, it will float. It will hold on it. In this case, air fuel mixer, fuel tank, sorry, fuel tank, fuel or upper, it will open it. Float away take it. If it is yet oil, ah, here he is it a basin of it. Then this is floating. It will upward jab. If it is upward jab, this valve will go up. So, go take a two bond hole jab. One thing is a bond hole go take it. So, the valve is closed that way. So, that way it works. Baki carburetor or my principle ko. So, yet a oil as a. So, to me, this is a air or air oil or level a kita. So, here to at a small opening as a to a to opening as a so if a lady petrol will like a hero evaporate hobo evaporate hoy if a lot of air here sir so air or fuel mixer hobo so a he still air yet at a small opening as a yet a to hold to my nozzle type arrow so air for a fuel vapor level out of yet here well there will be air fuel mixer hobo air fuel mixer now this is throttle valve. This is throttle valve. Throttle valve to me can control coro by using the accelerator. To make a bike solale, by gari solale, to accelerator the that is called throttling. 
एक्सेलरेशन बा डी एक्सेलरेशन कोड बोलो डी एक्सेलरेशन इज ब्रेकिंग एक्सेलरेट कोड बोले मैं एक्सेलरेटर बोगा हूँ तब मैंने ए वस्तु तो अमी एने के घुरा हूँ बा एने के एने के जा पड़े हो सो डेट वे वे कंट्रोल डी वन सो दिस इज थ्रोटल वन एंड दिस इज थ्रोटल वन बनी जरूर कौन है देर इज प्रिंसिपल ऑफ so a valve to zedi ami pura khuli deu that means air jodi position ene kwa hoy thake then the air fuel mixture will freely flow that means acceleration basi fuel pale gari bike basi speed ho jabo now the second condition ami ami dhara throttle ki korisu accelerator dobo nai tete ei kene kwa condition ot ase etu dekhi sa half open condition ot ase moi jitu tomalago kola bogote ko class or pura tomalago ulai jabo khuisa but the door is not fully open that is like this so this way the throttling will express that is why it is called throttle valve so what is this throttle valve determines speed of the engine because throttle valve fully jodi open hoy beshi air fuel mixer khumabo engine er bitor beshi air fuel mixer hole beshi air fuel mixer burn hobo beshi heat produce hobo that more heat will produce more power or it will give more speed to the engine so this carburetor you will have to study i don't know now you are studying or not paisa ne kiba hot carburetor alok lagibo this is like kene ko hobo suppose eto eta passes ase ya eta valve ase ta total valve raine ko ase almost etia dekha tumalage close nisena dekhisa but still there something can flow এটা হম হব পারে কিন্তু অন্য এটা পজিশনত যদি আমি টোটাল অ্যাক্সেলারেটর দবাই পেলে কি করব আমি যদি বেশি ফুয়েল লাগে তেতিয়া আমি ভাল টু এই অ্যাক্সেলারেটর দবালে ইট বিকাম লাইক দিস সে ফুল থ্রোটলিং ফুল থ্রোটলিং করিলে এটু এনে কো হব নাও দা ফ্লুইড ক্যান ফ্লো ফ্রিলি এয়ার ফুয়েল মিক্সার ফুল ফ্রুইলি যাব সো দ্যাট ইজ টোটাল ভাল দ্যাট ইজ হোয়াই বিকজ হোয়াই টোটাল ভাল বিকজ because of this valve the process throttling takes place